here's example two. Uh, plane is flying at the speed of 225 miles per hour, a bearing of 205 degrees. The wind is blowing 60 miles an hour with a bearing of 100 degrees. We want to calculate the ground speed and the bearing of the plane. First of all, 85% of doing this problem is interpreting the uh, words and drawing the correct picture and getting the correct angle in the triangle. No, no, not 85%. So let's go through this part nice and slow, and when we finally get to the law of cosines, that will be the easy part. All right, a plane is flying with a speed and a bearing. So the first thing we're going to do is start by drawing our bearing. And I'm just going to draw it super big here, okay? So here's my bearing, right? There's my north. And I have 205 degrees. So 205 degrees, well, down here would be 180, over here would be 270, so somewhere in between, right, so let's just draw it like such, okay? And I'm going to this later. So this piece right here is 205 degrees, and the length of it is 225 because that's the speed. All right, so the wind is blowing 60 miles an hour with a bearing of 100, de 100 degrees. You always put your bearing vector at the end because we're going to do a tip to tail here. So 100 degrees, well, what I do is I create, let me do this in a different color, I draw a whole new bearing right here. There's my northwest east south thing. Alright, so 100 degrees, um, that's going to be approximately like that, right? Because there's your 100 degrees right there. So, see how I created a new bearing? This is the bearing for the wind, this was the bearing for the plane. Okay. And then the length of that is going to be 60, and then we want to find the ground speed, well that's the resultant right there. Alright, so at this point, let's just draw the triangle over here. There's the triangle, and let's label it. So this is 225, this is 60, and at this point we don't know any angle in the triangle. We know lots of other stuff. We know the bearing of the plane, we know the bearing of the wind. Alright, so watch really carefully. Oh wait, before I go on, I'm just going to label that C because that is the resultant, which is the ground speed. Alright, so watch me do this. Here is the bearing, here's the north-south, see the north-south line of the plane right there, of the bearing, I'm sorry. Here's the north-south line of the wind. Are those parallel to each other, parallel to each other, north-south, north-south, those are two parallel lines, and they are cut by a transversal. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Let me draw them up here. Two parallel lines, pretend it's a parallel, cut by a transversal. That's what that is. This is your north-south of your plane, this is your north-south of your um, wind, and this right here is the airplane vector. Two parallel lines cut by the transversal. Alright, so now we know different things about alternate interior angles and vertical angles and corresponding angles, all that kind of stuff. So let's start here with the 205. Alright, so if it is 205, all the way around here, then I know that this angle right here, well that's got to be 360 minus 205, and that turns out to be 155. So I'm going to switch colors, and I'm going to write right up here, this is 155. Well, if that's 155, this is also 155 because those are alternate interior angles, they're the same. So that's 155, 155. 
And in the meantime, I know that we sneak in here um, the bearing of the wind. Okay. So I know that I draw this in. second part is we want to calculate the bearing of the plane. So let me erase a few things here so we can see what we're doing. Thank you. 